Hi guys, it's Elena from EMP. I'm here at Bloodstock 2021 and I'm here with Alex from Malevolence. Hi. What's up? How are you how doing? How you doing? Yeah, no bad. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Yeah, how was the set? Insane. Yeah. Absolutely insane, yeah. I uh, was pretty nervous before, obviously. We've only played one show since like the whole pandemic, so uh, yeah. A bit nervous, but as soon as we walked back on stage, it was just like, yep, yeah, straight back in. It's like if you never stopped. Yeah, like nothing ever happens, so yeah. So do you want to tell me a bit like what's next for Malevolence and like what your fans should keep an eye out for? Yes, yeah, so um, we are in the process of writing for our fourth record, fourth album, uh, due out next year. Uh, we've got two songs left to track vocals for, and then we are done. So then starts the process of like recording videos and stuff like that. So yeah, it's uh, it's very exciting times. I'm uh, I'm really really proud of like this album, um, and I think it's going to be a, a big moment when it drops because. Yeah, it's heavy. So we can't <laughs> wait to hear. <laughs> it's pretty heavy, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, we've we've got we've got some uh, plans for the end of the year for some intimate shows, like small, sweaty, oh nice, crazy, yeah. no barrier kind of vibe. Intimate, yeah. Yeah, I'm um, just going back to the roots a little bit, and uh, yeah, just we just want to play some shows. So you can expect us to be playing a lot of shows, yeah. Nice. So we're gonna keep an eye out for that. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, yeah. And like talking about touring and stuff, like, can you tell us like? You know the funniest on the road moment for you guys, like your your personal favorite. That's a tough one. Um, I hate this question because I can never think of anything. Pinpoint one yeah. in particular. Um, I mean, there's been there's been so many. You know, when you like when you first start off playing shows and you haven't, you never. Uh, and you never have accommodation agreed with the promoter, so you just end up staying on someone's floor of a, of a very weird house whilst the rest of the house is occupied with a massive house party and you're, there's five sweaty lads all crammed in a child's bedroom trying to go to sleep and you've got people kicking the door down and asking for a lighter and stuff like that. There's just, yeah, there's loads of stuff. It's hard to kind of pick one when you're on the spot like that, but yeah, um, there's so many. When when you're on tour, like, what's your favorite thing to pass time between shows? Like, like, do you guys game or like, do you like, I don't know, binge watch a series or anything? Yeah, yeah. So um, at the minute, I'm not we've not really been able to do as much, but I play PS4 quite a lot. It was like Call of Duty, yeah. Warzone got me through the first half of the lockdown, oh, yeah. um, just you know, jumping on there with the boys. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm really into my films as well. So like, I like a lot of uh, like British crime, gangster films. I, my favorite film recently is the new Guy Ritchie film, The Gentleman, insane film. Um, and then yeah, the rest of the guys, they we all, I think they they're all into films and stuff as well. Not so much gaming, but we all like we all enjoy going on like bike rides and stuff like that. So I'm really into my mountain biking too. That's like a, a new passion of mine in in lockdown. So you picked uh, that up during lockdown, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So I bought my, my first my first bike in in like the first lockdown. Fell in love with it. Started riding with the lads from Sheffield, where we're from, uh, quite often. And then yeah, it's just fell in love with it. It's great. I guess it's a healthy hobby to have. So <laughs> you, you can yeah, you can definitely have more unhealthy of it. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And like, is there any album or a band in particular that you kind of like obsessed with recently that you can have on the loop? Um, recently, who have I been? The new Gridiron record is insane. Um, Tsunami, they've got a new record out as well. Um, yeah, Gridiron have just done a split with Despised, who are from our, our boys from Scotland. Um, yeah, I think they're the, they're the ones that I've been enjoying the most recently. Um, I listen to a lot of like various different stuff as well, so like listen to a lot of rap and uh, a lot of jazz and stuff like that. So I normally just go on Spotify and just and just let it do its thing, kind of, and just see. He knows you by now, so yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah, like it, it's pretty good on the recommendation front. It can go from one minute to soothing jazz to, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it kind of knows me pretty well by now. And um, like in terms of like collaboration and stuff, like who is in your wish list? Like if you could like literally collaborate with any artist. Um, oh, probably Jamie Jaster, Hatebreed. I think that's everyone. Everyone would say that in the band would say that. Uh, Randy Blythe, Lamb of God. Um, and yeah, I'm trying to think who else. Anything unexpected, like you know, something that would be like, what? Why are they doing a song together? <laughs> um, not that I can think of. Not that I can think of. I know that's a really boring answer. So, <laughs> no, no, but, yeah. Um, 
I put you on I the mean, spot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is a bit on the spot actually. Um, mainly like the guys that we've like the guys that we've all grown up listening to. Like they're still our like where we draw most of our influence from. So like bands like Lamb of God, Hatebreed, Pantera, Chimera, that kind of stuff is like what we all grew up on. So any of those guys would be like yeah, a dream. Yeah, 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 definitely. And what would you say is like your guilty pleasure song? Oh, in m music. I don't believe in guilty pleasures in music. That's if, my favorite answer. <laughs> if you like it, you like it. But I've got really, really back into Britney Spears recently. She's Britney's like free Britney, Britney all day. Free Britney. Yeah, free day. Britney. Um, yeah, free Britney. Free Britney. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like you said, I don't believe in guilty pleasures. Like if I know some people might say like pop music and stuff, but yeah. pop music is popular because it's so catchy if you don't like it then yeah if you like it there's no shame in it like that's yeah. why i really love your answer yeah, because yeah. it's like you know if you like it there's no like you know shame like just enjoy it just embrace it <laughs> exactly exactly so like you know what band like all artists other than britney like you think people would not expect you like being singing like in the shower <laughs> a lot of like 80s power ballads so like or phil collins uh um, good old phil toto Hold the Line is probably one of my favourite songs of all time. I will belt that out in the shower yeah, every time. It's such a banger. <laughs> so if you could be like a superhero for a day, who would you be and what would you do? Oh, man. Um, Are you into superhero movies at all? Not massively, but I think probably Spider-Man, just because I I'd, I'd just fly around just everywhere. Just go around like yeah, from yeah. one building to another. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Probably just any any of them that can fly. Yeah. Nah, that, 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 I'd buzz off that. Yeah. And what would you do? Like, would you just like go around and fly? Would you do any good with your superpower that day, or bit just enjoy? It? Yeah. yeah, I'd do some good shit and then. Uh, cause <laughs> so a you bit feel of better, yeah. And yeah. Then <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, hundred percent. And have how to. about a super villain? Super villain. Um, you can probably have more fun if you're a super villain. Yeah, yeah, I'd probably, I don't know, like Joker or Venom or something like that, yeah. Venom, just, yeah, it'd be Venom, because then I can just do metal vocals at everyone and just like... Love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And if you could grab a, a cup of coffee with a character from a movie, a book or a TV series, like who would it be and why? Um, oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> I um, know. I'm gonna go with like. Oh, I don't know, this is hard one. This is hard. Uh, I've actually like racking my brain. Um, I don't know, like some of like. I'd like, uh, do you know what? Like the vo some of the voices of the Simpsons. I'd like to meet them just to and see, to see like, like yeah, how yeah, was yeah. it to like yeah. become that character? S Simpsons yeah. and Family Guy, that like, yeah. yeah, probably them too. Oh, Family Guy is so good. Like, yeah, yeah, it's classic, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Who was your favorite character from it? Oh, Peter Griffin. Oh, oh he's like saying that there's the, uh, uh, what's he called? The old uncle guy. He's like, hey, kids. <laughs> yeah, the that, creepy dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah that one. <laughs> he's so creepy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's creepy. So, would you rather try to survive a zombie apocalypse or an alien invasion? Zombies. Zombies? Yeah, I reckon, I, I reckon I'd last pretty well. Yeah, like, have you watched enough like, movies and uh, TV series and yeah. stuff to know how to? <laughs> yeah, if you hear a noise, don't go towards it. Yeah. But I've had this is kind of, <laughs> Yeah, I'd like a lot of the venues that we've played before. I think this would be like a good place to kind of hold up and secure. So, yeah, um, yeah I've so thought, you're ready. You're I've prepared. Thought about that question already. I was prepared for that one. <laughs> That's good. Um, so, like, you you already mentioned, like, you know, you got like tour and um, and like new album recording and stuff. So, like, do you want to just leave a message for your UK and European fan? Yes. Uh, thank you for all the support over the last. 16 months, two years, uh, it's been really appreciated, especially with our first venture into self-releasing and all of you guys showed my support for that, so thank you very much. Um, got more cool stuff coming soon. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> cool, thank you so much, Alex. Thanks very it's been much. a pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks very much.